The tragic death of a 14-year-old British national at St. Peter's Mission School in Accra has left his family in sorrow and seeking answers. The boy allegedly fell from a fourth-floor window of the school building, but the family disputes this claim due to visible deep-cut wounds on his body. They are now calling on the police to conduct a transparent investigation to determine the true cause of his death. Fred Joe has more. On May 15, 2023, 14-year-old Luke Maxwell, a British national, was rushed to the University of Ghana Medical Center after reportedly falling from a window on the fourth floor of the dormitory block at St. Peter's Mission School in Obojo. Medical officers alarmed by the severity of the deep wounds involved the police as they were skeptical about the story provided by the teachers who accompanied the boy's lifeless body to the hospital. On May 19th, Dr. Edu Jenthi, the proprietor of St. Peter's Mission School, shared their version of events with City News. They have left him there whilst he was sleeping to go and find out why he has come with that, uh, that being that hyper. So, according to him, when they were investigating, uh, what has happened to this boy that he's so hyper this night when everybody is supposed to be sleeping. In their course of the investigation, they heard a big fall, the sound, boom. So according to him, they abandoned the investigation to find out what, what it was. And they realized that one of the windows in their room on the fourth floor where teachers are occupying, the boy has been able to disengage that window and fall and had jumped through the window. So they stopped all what the investigation they said they were doing and quickly rushed the boy to the hospital. They called other people. They called as a head teacher. They called him and they called other management members to come and help them. So this is the case as we know now. Fortunately, by the time I arrived, arrived here, the police were here already. They've taken videos and what have you, and have invited about three students at, to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the police station for questioning. So definitely I went with them. My members who had been called in earlier also had joined for us to know indeed what had taken place. So we went there. Well, the students have given their reports to the police. The staffs on duty have also given their report to the police. Currently, um, the police have arranged that on 23rd of this month, there will be an autopsy. So indeed, barring every speculation, we believe that reports of autopsy has something to tell about events leading to the demise of people. The boy had been entrusted to the care of his grandmother. Upon receiving the distressing news, the grandmother of the twins rushed to the hospital as the doctors insisted on having a relative present. They told the doctor that they have brought my dead son because I am in intensive care, in admission. A pack of lies. A pack of lies. And they said the food I brought to the school the day, be, the day before, 15th of May, seems to be dragged. And that caused my grandson to feel giddy and drop off from the fourth floor. No broken bones, no, 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 no broken arms, no, no, no broken legs, nothing, even not a head, a head crash. A standard, standard board has proved that there was no drug in my grandson's no body. No common alcohol. No alcohol. Yes. And, and, and the thing is, my, the, uh, uh, the, the director of the school said, my grandson, he came on TV and said, my grandson was dealing in drugs at 14. And then when the, when the, the, the people who supplied the drug came to collect their money, because he had spent the money, he was jumping through fourth floor window to fall down. The injuries does not match the cock and bull story the, head, the, 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 the school proprietor was telling me. A bundle of lies. But I can tell you, my grandson's blood 
will be a voice for the voiceless. Because there's so many histories of uh, uh, the school. So many. Bizarre history, bizarre. But uh, my, my, my grandson's blood will be a voice for the voiceless. And you come on TV and say my grandson was selling drugs at 14. Nini Kwe Asale, the manchel of Kanishi, a suburb of Accra, and the family head expressed deep sorrow over the state of the boy's body, which bore deep cut wounds. Because they alleged that our son and grandson took some drugs, they looked at the height from which they purported for the boy to have fallen from, and we looked at where he fell, and the quantum of blood we saw <laughs> did not match what they were alleging. Um, in fact, even where the portion of where the blood was, and when you know, look at the height of the boy, 14 years old, about six feet two, was not enough. Um, what we saw was that the blood has been swept and cleaned, and we asked why. And the proprietor told us that it was on, based on the instructions of the police, and that there were house flies that were invading the place. So they cleaned the place before the homicide came the following day. Um, so basically, this is why we are here. And we are taking our son, our grandson, back to London. The family raised concerns, noting the absence of visible signs of bone fractures or head injuries, except for the suspicious deep cuts under the boy's armpit, hinting of possible foul play. There are other kids there. We are calling on the Ghana Education Service to go to that school because the conditions that we saw, the kids, the age that have been mixed up, the bullying going on there, I would think that there's so much mismanagement. We believe that our son was taken out of the school and gender, social welfare, they should go there. What we went to see, the parents are not allowed to go in there. I'll give you pictures that I took in the dormitories. They were appalling, very appalling for human habitation, especially kids of that age. In fact, we will go there. We are going on with this investigation. We'll get to the bottom of it, not because we've only lost our son, but for the protection of other kids that are in that school. Food and Drugs Authority reports have refuted claims of drug intoxication in the boys' system, leading the family to decide to transport the body to the UK for a proper burial. Baby, please. My baby. <laughs> that is the body of a British national, 14-year-old. We understand his name is Luke Maxwell. He was attending school at the St. Peter's Mission School at Ogbojo. But in May this year, there was this unfortunate incident that we understand occurred in the school. But the family has disputed that following reports from the um, Ghana uh, Food and Drugs Authority uh, confirming that indeed there was nothing of the sort relating to drugs, neither alcohol found in his system uh, as against what the school proprietor was alleging to have taken place in the premises. Now the family are calling on the police to do a thorough investigation and then proceed to prosecute this matter in a very transparent manner because they are seeking for justice. I am Fred Duo reporting from the University of Ghana Medical Center for City News.